Now I feel odd. <laughs> Sorry. Cool transition. <laughs> With ASMR. I lost a plastic already. We just started now. Hi, I'm Elisa. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video is focused around keyboard modding. Basically, I bought or my brother bought me some new switches almost like two years ago and I never actually modded out my keyboard, but I had Lovely's help this time and we modded the entire keyboard. And that's what this whole video is basically going to be about. I will show you the before sound and how it sounds now with all the mods. But yeah, this was super fun to do and I had got this keyboard like I think like three years ago now and I had like the default switches that came with it which were just browns and they were pretty good like I had no complaints I liked it but after modding it and hearing how it sounds now it's definitely way more fun to type now but yeah that's basically everything for this video hello vlog hello vlog hi my name is lovely dawn I'm on youtube I play maple story we're going to be just doing like small mods on oh, Elise's okay. keyboard. I don't think Darius is in frame. Oh, is he not? Oh, 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 oh. Now he might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is. Fuck, what is it? GMM. Oh, it's a GMMK 10 keyless. Oh, mm -hmm. Is yours 10 keyless? Mine no, is yours... uh, 75%. Okay, 75%. So mine's 10 keyless, and I think it is. Yeah, I think you have brown switches. Yeah, I think I have brown switches. I don't know if this. If people aren't into keyboards, none of that will make sense. But the switches are browns, and I'm switching it today to... Milky Yellows. Okay. See, I had forgotten the name, and I just knew it was the same ones that you got. Yeah. So I didn't, like... I couldn't remember. But yeah. So these are the switches that we're switching into. So the reason why we need to clip off some of the pins here is because her PCB only supports three, three pin switches, and this is a five pin. Uh, the easy fix for that. I've never done it before, but I have seen switches where they just like clip off these and what you use is like a pair of nail clippers and you So of the pins that are on here, you want to keep These guys, I think they're copper maybe, I don't know, uh, and then clip off the plastic That's what I'm gonna get Elisa to do uh, yeah. And then what we're going to do after she goes through all of the switches she needs, so um, I don't know how many keys this is gonna be it's like a hundred and eight or something. It was like a weird number. It was hundred plus. Yeah. So do that many switches that you need. Then what we're going to do, because it's just small mods that we're doing today, is changing the switches to the milky yellows, and then we're going to do the tempest tape mod, which is just taping the back of the PCB. And that, what I found in my experience, is that tape makes a big difference on the sound of your keyboard. And you know that's that's enough for now. Yeah. For like, you know, simple things you can do to fix your mechanical keyboard. Or not fix, but change the sound of it. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. There are other things you can do, like um, balance the stabilizers and stuff, but I Yeah, my stabilizer is really garbage. Yeah. But you'll, you'll have to deal with that. That's another That's video. Yeah. Man. So with the switch puller. Here, I can hold it for you. Oh, sorry, is that too high? No, you're good. So there's a top and bottom that you want to just pinch in so you can see it with these like there's that white tab there did you see there's one on this side too so you pinch just it in pinch it in and then you pull up so these are tactile the browns but this is a linear and there's just a slight bump you watching cannot feel it <laughs> but it's there <laughs> trust me <laughs> um and the difference in the back is so this is three pin and then five pin as you can see it's just five pin has these here so you want it to just look like the same yeah okay so you know which ones you're alisa is going to give you a sound test of it after yes. so i'm explaining this to her and she's going to clip all of the pins and then we'll come back i might come back in the vlog if she needs my help i'll be back for the tape part at least <laughs>
so I just finished clipping all the posts off the switches. So I had a total of like 90 something switches, but my keyboard only has 87. So I thought I'd just clip the remaining like three or four anyways. But yeah, so they're all here. My finger's like hurting now from like all the clipping, but I'm gonna wait for Lovely to come back to do the taping of the motherboard, but I'm gonna pull off all the keycaps now and pull off all the existing switches and just kind of collect those. They all don't have a pin now. I've been meaning to switch these switches for so long. My brother got me these uh, switches a long, long time ago and I haven't gone around to it until now. So with Lovely's help, hopefully, Everything should go smoothly. I'm gonna pull all these guys off and probably give them like a little bit of a wipe and then pull off all the existing switches. That's basically it. That didn't take too, too long, honestly. So I'm gonna go do that now really quickly and then probably gonna take a little break until she comes back and we can unscrew it, basically take it apart and then tape it up. <laughs> So I just took off all the caps from the keyboard. So this is what it looks like, although I have a more aesthetic looking one. And I kind of just like brushed off the dust and wiped it down a little bit. So it's a little bit cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and pull these all off in a quick time lapse because I'm, I'm losing light and I'm running out of steam. So I'm going to try to do this super quickly, pulling all these switches off and then waiting for Lovely to help me tape it so then I can put all the new ones in and then all the keycaps back on. So it's definitely a long process. Um, I've only been at it for about, I would say an hour. So it's not like taking too, too long, but you definitely need to put some time aside if you're going to do this. So but yeah, I'm going to go do that really quickly and watch a YouTube video while I do it. <laughs> hurting i don't know it's definitely gonna be a time lapse so i don't know how like fast i'll be doing all of that but i had to switch between like my right hand and my left hand so often just because my hand was like cramping some of them were a lot tighter than others like i think i broke a couple of these switches honestly so i don't think i could even go back to it i'm trying to find one that i can show you i don't even know but i think i broke some of them so i don't think i can use those again but now that all the switches are out this is basically what it looks like but it needs another clean because in between all the switches there's um I guess a little bit more dust and stuff so I'm just gonna go and either try to brush it out or use compressed air I'm not too sure yet but I'm gonna do that really quick and then after I come back I would have taken a bit of a break and then I'm gonna do the taping and stuff with lovely maybe the lighting should be this just so that the lighting is better okay so I I cleaned it I <laughs> Took everything out. I just didn't take stabilizers out. Do I need to? Ah, uh, I'm not sure actually. Let's let's try it. We can just hit record. It's recording. Oh, hi. I'm back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take apart the keyboard. Um, so I'm going to. Ew, I'm so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take apart the keyboard and. Uh, okay. Yeah. Screwdriver. screwdriver. So we also have some, I think this is PE foam, we'll see if it is or not. I don't know if there's foam already in this keyboard, so we'll find out. Here, foam. Anyways, yeah, lovely modded. You modded your own keyboard, right? I had some help. I did uh, have a stream where I modded it with my Oh yeah. Cousin. Okay, right. And... I, I remember that stream, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't think I have, like, tuned into it, but I saw the thing mm. that you modded. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I should really do mine. And then I never did mine. <laughs> So I know like the basics of modding and thankfully like my keyboard already came with um, a couple layers of foam so I didn't have to do much other than add the tape and change the switches so oh, okay. it's it's crazy because like I always was scared of modding my keyboard because it seemed like 
you had to know a lot, but it's really just like, oh, modding is, you add tape and you add foam. It's not that yeah, like- Yeah, see, I didn't know that. I thought it, it was, was gonna be a lot too. That's why I was like, okay, I gotta research like a whole bunch before I start this. Otherwise, like, I'm not gonna know what I'm doing. You don't wanna break it. Yeah, but I mean, it's nice that like, you know how, so I don't have to <laughs> do yeah. too much research. It's good to have someone who's like kind of confident in what they're doing already. Yeah, or yeah. has like done it themselves. So you're not just like by yourself and then if you're lost, like who's gonna help you, right? Mm -hmm. like, but yeah, Lovely Streams, Maple Story. Yep. Sometimes um, Valorant, but rarely. Yeah, honestly, after streaming Val a little bit, I was kind of like, uh, it's just, I can't think and talk yeah. at the same time when I'm playing that game and it ends up, like even when I play with friends and the conversations we have are so garbage. Like we don't talk about anything substantial because I can't think. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she streams Maple Story every day. It seems like it's every day. At least two or three times a week. Oh my. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. Let's see them. They're all the same screws though, yeah? I, I'm pretty sure they're all the same okay. size. Did you end up doing all of them or just as I much did, as you needed? I did all of them because it only left like a couple. three or four. I was like, okay, I'm just going to clip these. And some of them I felt like I clipped the metal part a little bit also. So I was like, oh. Well, it, so maybe it's good to have those. Like, yeah, screws. in case it doesn't fucking work anymore. It might just be a force thing, right? Because you took yeah. all the screws. Like, I'm not missing. Oh, there is a screw here. Oh, <laughs> no wonder. Oh my Should God. Should I pry it open? I knew it. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we're taking apart the keyboard. As you can see, there is a lot of foam in here. So this is the board itself. Oh, it's good. We don't have to take out the stabilizers because um, it's connected. I just need to put tape on this part here, which is the PCB. So normally with like PE foam, what some people do is they add it between the PCB and the plate. And then they just stab the like switches through it oh because it's so thin that it's like okay i see but we can just end up adding the foam to the bottom and maybe it'll make a difference i'm not sure but okay. we're just it's kind of just like experimenting with each one right okay so i'm gonna do you want to switch spots no this is okay okay so what we're gonna do is add two to three layers of painter's tape on the back i think we just need to make sure we leave or we cut out holes later for where the screws come in like there like certain holes um oh. but you can always just like grab a uh can you just screw through tape yeah you can also oh, do that too okay. i guess depending on how thick you want the tape. tape to be we're just gonna make a couple strips and then here going to cut um oh my gosh. cut off any excess oh, <laughs> Dump out the yellow so that, because that's what I need. Mm. Hopefully we can just screw in through these guys. I know what my question <laughs> did was just like press it down and then, <laughs> but that like scared me when he, when he did that, but. Or you just have to line them and then just force it? Yeah. Yeah, but you We could it. just like cut it through, like. Or just poke a hole with like. Yeah, like poke a hole. Oh, here's a screwdriver. You just poke it with this. No, just... <laughs> oh wait, no, it's it's I think it's okay. You got it. Oh I see it's very thick now.
there are a couple of things that were missing in the video. I had meant to record it and I didn't, but we added additional mods after we had modded the whole thing. We ended up opening it all back up the next day and then putting an additional layer of tape and then adding foam, closing that back up and then adding some like band-aids to the stabilizers to make uh, basically the longer keys a bit more stable. And then I also added tape to the bottom side of my space bar just so that it sounded a bit better. So some of those mods weren't included on video. So I thought I would just chat about it now to let you guys know what other things we did that made the keyboard sound better. Okay, so that was the keyboard mods. The keycaps I had gotten a while ago and aren't part of the modifications, but I had done that a while ago. So those are obviously not the default keycaps that came with my keyboard. And the keyboard that I have is the GMMK Ice Edition and it's a 10 keyless. It was about a hundred and something dollars. So I think pretty standard price for a mechanical keyboard, although I could be wrong. I did do a lot more research back in the day when I did buy it. And I don't know if prices are different now. I imagine that they are just because everything is a bit more expensive now. But yeah, that's basically everything for this video. I hope that it was satisfying because I haven't edited it yet. So I don't know how I'm gonna piece it all together, but yeah, that was it, and that is also the keyboard that I use for all my gaming and my editing. So yeah, that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It'd mean a lot if you subscribed and liked this video, and I'll see you in the next vlog.